we're starting an online pictorial directory. Why? Well, churches need to know who's who. It's part of being a church family, being connected. And so we're asking all of you to get online with this new app that we're using, this new program, and update your information, make sure it's correct. If it's not, let us know or do it yourself. But then add a picture. Pictures are so key to knowing who's who. Uh, we aren't doing the traditional paper-bound directory anymore. Number one, those companies are kind of gone out of business. And secondly, we thought the online directory uh, would, would be pretty handy to have it on your phone and on your computer. Uh, it's pretty safe. In fact, uh, one of the nice features about this program is the safety mechanisms. In fact, I'm not allowed from the church office to put you on the directory. You yourself with your mobile phone, not an email address that can be created by spam, fake people, but no, you with your personal phone number and email address that we approve, we have to approve it from our end. Those two things have to happen in order for you to be able to join the church online directory. So knowing that it's safe, knowing that it's needed, knowing that we're asking everyone to get on board so that we have this information to be more connected, I'm going to take you through the few steps it takes to get onto the church directory. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our mailbox. And sure enough, there it says you are invited to join our directory. I'm gonna click on that. There's my, our, my church logo, our church logo. I'm gonna to go to the bottom, I'm gonna hit join directory. It's gonna ask for a phone number. Again, uh, this is not gonna work for your kids who don't have phone numbers, but they don't need it. I'm gonna click next. It's gonna send me a code, I'm gonna put the code in. Then it's gonna ask me to log in as Jeff. Yes, I wanna log in as Jeff. Next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to share my information. You haven't shared your information yet, share it now. Yes, this is what you personally have to do from your phone. I can't do it or do it from your computer, so you're gonna hit share it now. And there it gives me some options. This is the information the church office has about you. Now I'm gonna click this, check this box on the left, and I'm gonna include my profile photo. Most important, please, individual profile photos, put them in there, take a picture of yourself right now. I want church to have my phone number, my work email, my personal email address, no, because most people don't email me personal things, it's usually church related, and that's fine. My address, yes, I want the church family to have that. And then down there, I can see my my family household. Uh, they don't have their personal information, their personal profile pictures up, but they have information that we don't mind being out there in the church family. We're going to update the profile, and there it is. There's the Richards household. There's our pictures, and there's our information. Now let's say that the email address is wrong, the phone number is wrong. You want to change that. You're going to click on your picture at the top and you're gonna click on My Profile and Settings, and then one more click, Contact and Profile Information. Once you click that, you can go to your email, you can go to your birthday, your anniversary, whatever's in there you wanna change, and you just click Edit. And then once you go through there, you can edit with information, make sure you go to the bottom and hit Save Changes. Now, what's really kinda of interesting about this, just some other things to show you, is you can click on home. When you click on home, it'll give you some information from the church, office hours, phone numbers, contacts of church staff. There's Facebook page, church YouTube channel, prayer ministry, and so on. It's kind of like a nice bulletin page, gives you information you need. If you click on directory, there it is. We already talked about that, but just one thing to note, uh, you can view people by first name. You can view people by last name. You can view households. In fact, poor Amy, if we view by household, she's down at the bottom because she's a yay. But if uh, we view by first name, she would be at the top. So just some, you can search for people too. If I want to search for Lori D, I can search for her and there she pops up. So kind of interesting. Sometimes you only know the maybe the, the last name of someone. And you're like, oh, I think it starts with M-A-R or um, starts with R-I-C-H, is it Richards, is it Richard's son? Well, it doesn't matter, just put that in and it will give you all the options that are related. So just one more time, 
rich. Oh, I hit enter and it ed erase it. But if I, if I don't hit enter there, it gives me all those options. Now the other three options on here, if you hit calendar, it will take you to our actual church website where we have the calendar. And one thing to note, the blue ink calendar items, those are uh, at large church events. You can see Midweek Man is on there, Quilting Ministry. We have church service. We have um, just different information on the calendar. That's that's what you want to know. Uh, the ones in orange is youth events. You can um, find out what's happening there. So that's kind of the church calendar. Now, if I go back to this uh, Church Center website, it also has Give. It'll take me to the Adventist Giving Church website. And then lastly, if I click on that menu, it can take me to the watch page on our church website. Here we have the upcoming live church service. You can click on that. And we also have past sermons. And if you click on those, like click on this one that Gary Parks just did, you can click on YouTube. It'll take you there. You can start watching. Uh, you might see link one. And anyway, just follow around. You can do a search here also. This is now we're on the church website. You can do a search. Uh, say maybe you really enjoyed watching uh, the Christmas church service uh, and you want to know, want to watch it again. There it is. All the events we have with the word Christmas in it. You can watch the kids uh, church service, simple Bible Christmas church service, whatever you want. So those are the things that uh, are on this website. Uh, follow up with part two where we... Get a dedicated church app on your phone that has all these things, a little cleaner, a lot nicer. I'll walk you through that in the next round. Thank you.